let me introduce to you X77 Aurora and X77 Zeus H11 socket. Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. And here I am again going to review LED light from X77 brand and these are Zeus and Aurora. So in this video, we will be reviewing the power in terms of watts of each LED, its dimensions, LED driver temperature, fan temperature, headlight lens temperature, and its brightness in terms of lux. So let us compare box from X77 versus Novsight and 37 h 11 so for X77, all of their series models have the same box and design, unlike Novsight, which are not uniform. They are different series, model, different box sizes. So inside the box, you will find a warranty card, a sticker which you can stick to your car windshield or windows, and instruction manual on how to install. So in this portion, we have a total of 4 different LEDs and 1 halogen bulb for baseline or reference to be tested and compared to each other. We have the stock halogen bulb which is 55 watts, the XX77 Zeus, the X77 Aurora, Novsight N37, and Novsight N60. So in terms of physical size, the Novsight N60 is the biggest. While Zeus and Aurora are shorter and their fan diameter are smaller compared to Novsight N60 and N37. So if your vehicle has a headlight cover like some Hyundai's, Kia, Ford, Toyota High ace Sonar headlight, you might check first the housing since Aurora and Zeus are bigger compared to a stock bulb and you might not return the cover since the fan will already protrude. For Montero Gentry headlight, the X77 Aurora and Zeus might fit since the fan base diameter are small. So for the LED driver comparison, from the left is the Zeus, Aurora, N37, and N60. So as you can see, Zeus is the smallest LED driver while N37 is the biggest. But, but as we know, the bigger metal casing, the better heat dissipation. So we assume that X77 Zeus has the hotter LED driver temperature while the others have lower temperature. We will find out later as we progress in this, in this video. Now we have the different LED chips put together side by side for better comparison. So you can see here that the X77 Zeus and Novsight N37 are only 3 cores in single row while X77 Aurora and Novsight N60 are 6 cores in 2 rows. In terms of total size, the Novsight N60 is the biggest and we assume that the bigger the LED, the bigger the power it can produce and the brighter it can provide. So between 3 cores single row versus 6 cores 2 rows and biggest size, we will find out later which has the better light output. So for dark spot checking, we measure the thickness and check in the wall the width of the dark spot. So between Zeus and Aurora, Aurora has thinner thickness versus Zeus, thus the dark spot is also smaller compared to Zeus. A lot of you are curious why I have this kind of testing. Because the thickness has the biggest effect on the dark spot we observe on the beam pattern, especially on projector lens. On the next picture, you will see what is, dark, what is the dark spot I am talking about. So in this picture, you will see below the beam pattern a cone-shaped dark spot. By the way, this is a Toyota Wigo or Agya or Daihatsu Aila 2023. And it is a 12.5 inch projector lens with H11 socket. Its projector lens construction are also the same on other Toyota models with headlight projector lens such as the Fortuner 2016, Vios and Innova V variants and other models. So let us check the actual power in watts for Zeus and Aurora. So I connected the LEDs on my car bat battery with the engine running to give me actual vehicle running voltage and a multimeter to check its wattage. So as you can see, there's a significant power drop after 3 minutes on both X77 Zeus and Aurora. So based on the description they posted online in Lazada, 
the watts for Zeus is 150 watts per pair or 75 watts per bulb and 130 watts per pair or 65 watts per bulb for Aurora but the actual power are much lower. For Zeus it is advertised 75 watts but actual is only 63.4 watts and dropped to 55.8 watts after 3 minutes and that's around 12% power drop. While Aurora is 65 watts per bulb but actual is only 55 watts and dropped to 49.9 watts after 3 minutes and that's approx 9% power drop. I also included Dubsite N60 and N37, it's what's result for comparison. For details on N60 and N37, you can check my previous YouTube videos. For temperature testing, we place the probe on the headlight lens, on the LED driver and the fan of the LED. So here is the summary for temperature testing. For the fan and LED driver, Zeus is the hottest while N37 is the coolest. And on the headlight lens, N37 is the hottest at 42 degrees, 4 degrees hotter compared to other LEDs. But still all the LEDs are colder compared to the stock bulb which is 58 degrees. So common questions we encounter for those planning to change bulb to LED. Will it burn the he headlight lens since light is brighter? No. And here is the answer you just watch. For this row lux testing, I just let one LED chip facing the lux meter for around 3 minutes to check the decrease of lux. So here checking the brightness using the lux meter. So before showing you the summarized lux reading, let me show you also the light beam output of each LED. So the vehicle I'm using here for testing is a Toyota Wigo 2023 or Daihatsu Ayla 2023 with a 2.5 inch projector headlight lens and the H11 socket. So in the left is only single beam which is the only right headlight is only illuminated and the right pictures are both headlights illuminated. Now let us check some differences we observe on the beam patterns. So as we observe the beam pattern for Zeus and N37, it has wider coverage compared to the rest of the LEDs. And what is common between Zeus and N37 is that their LED chip is 3 core single row and thus thinner width. We also observe Aurora and N60. It has high beam pattern to the right side and both Aurora and N60 are 6 core 2 rows LED chip thus thicker width. Now here is the table summary for the lux reading. So as we observe, the brightness of Aurora and Zeus are the same during startup or when the LEDs are still cold. And after 3 minutes, the Aurora has bigger lux drop compared to Zeus. Thus in summary, Zeus is brighter versus Aurora. And another observation, Aurora and Novsight N37 have also similar lux reading result. And let's proceed to actual drive testing. So I am using Xiaomi 10T Pro 4K 60fps settings. And just to let you know that the actual brightness is dimmer compared to what you are watching now. This is due to the camera settings. And brightness might also differ depending on of what type of camera you are using.
Now, here is the compiled data table for all the testing we have done. So let us focus on the two important parameters here, the brightness and the heat. Zeus is brighter but hotter, while Aurora is less bright but less heat compared to Zeus. All of us want brighter light but we also need to consider the heat management. So if your car is using projector lens and the bulb is installed inside the housing with cover and no heat exhaust like Montero, Gentry, some Hyundai cars, Kia, then I recommend Aurora because of its LED driver and fan have lower heat compared to Zeus. But if no cover on the headlight housing and the bulb socket are exposed like Fortuner 2016 headlights, Toyota Vios, Altis, and other Toyotas or other brands, then I recommend Zeus since the LED driver and the fan are exposed and have better heat management and it's also brighter than Aurora. You might also check first the design of your headlight since these LEDs are larger compared to a stock bulb. For example, on Toyota Vios 2019, a lot of LED cannot fit on the high beam due to the LED fan is hitting the frame. Only those 30mm and below fan diameter and fanless LED are able to fit. For Mitsubishi Del Delica, the headlight cover was changed to universal rubber cover since the original cannot already be closed and the fans also need to be exposed for heat management. So I hope you like this video and feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you on my next video.